Hi friends and welcome to Crumbs from Charad. Have you ever heard a voice in a dark graveyard? Mary said to the angels, They have taken away my Lord and I do not know where they have laid him. Saying this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. My dear friends, have you had an experience when you have been in the midst of difficulty, trial, and you're waiting for God to answer you, but you hear no voice of His? In all that darkness, you're crying out and then you say, Where are you, God? When I need you most, where are you? My dear friends, maybe this passage has something to say to you. Here you have Mary. She has come to the tomb early. The chapter begins saying it was still dark. And when she comes there, she finds there's no body of Jesus. What could be worse for a loved one when you come to the tomb and find even the body, the last way to keep in contact with a person has disappeared. For Mary, it could be maybe robbers has taken it away or worse still, the chief priests and the elders, the scribes have taken away the body to inflict the last blow upon the disciples. And here she is in a deep despair. And in the midst of despair, she hears the voice of Jesus, Mary. And at once she recognizes, this is Jesus, my master. And she says, Rabboni. My dear friends, if Mary didn't have this personal relationship with Jesus, she would have missed the voice of the master. When he called Mary, she wouldn't have recognized him. And so it is in our life. In the midst of our difficulty and trial, the Lord is always present as here he was at a graveyard. And he's always calling out to us. But we don't recognize the voice of the master. Quite often it may be because we don't have that relationship with him. If we can't recognize the voice of the Lord in the light, how will we recognize the voice of the Lord in the darkness? And so my friends, the importance of the personal relationship with Jesus, when everything is bright and beautiful, get on your knees and pray daily. So that in the darkness, you recognize the voice, the one voice that you want most of all, and you realize He alone is there. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day with Jesus.